So what is going on guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another video where today we are going to be discussing Call of Duty Black Ops, the original, all the way back in 2010. I want to show you some interesting concept artwork for zombies that never came into fruition, is that the word? I'm not too sure. Alright, I'm going to have to check what that means, Fru fruition, I just hit the mic, sorry. The realisation, yeah I think, I think that's right, okay, that sounds fine. And we're also going to be talking about some leaks for COD 2020 or... Black Ops 5, the Black Ops Remaster, whatever you want to call it. Because over the past couple of days, we've had quite a bit of new information. So I thought instead of putting these two into separate videos, I'm going to combine them into one. And who knows, maybe those original old zombies concepts from Black Ops might return or might be used again in this year's zombies. So as always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel. But let's get into it. Here we go. And enjoy. Anyway, so just a couple of days ago, if you stay up to date with Twitter, or a lot of people involved with zombies, you may have noticed this floating around. I will leave the link down in the description so you can check it out for yourself, but it's a post from someone who used to work on the original Black Ops in 2010. This was leaked from them back in 2015, so why I didn't see this back then, I'm not too sure. But it says, here are my Call of Duty Black Ops DLC zombie concepts done during my days working for the good folks at Raven Software. To the best of my knowledge, all but my crazy Ox Zombie were chosen and used in one form or another. And he's posted seven different concepts. These are all super interesting. Like he says, these were intended to be used in the original Black Ops. Looking at them, they don't look exactly like any zombie we have in the game, but as he says, all but one of them were actually used, just changed slightly. So the first one, which is my favourite, was the smokescreen zombie. It says the festering sores and wound cavities spew an agent orange type smokescreen. A cumulative smoke effect obscures players' field of view, allowing for other stronger zombies to gain advanced positions. These zombies stagger irregularly and take an indirect path towards players, making them harder to hit and also allowing more smoke to spread. Close proximity to this zombie can cause temporarily impaired vision, which is short exposure, and even blindness, which will last for longer. Early pinpoint sniper strikes will mostly be the player's best tactic. At mid to close range, a flamethrower is the most effective way to bring the zombie down, and despair the smoke. Sniper down corpses continue to generate small, irregular bursts of smoke, but no longer cause significant vision loss. So, not gonna lie, the zombie actually does sound pretty annoying, but looking at the concept, it looks very, very cool, and thinking about what they could have actually turned this into, because he did say most of them were used in one form or another. I guess this is kind of similar to a Nova 6 crawler, but instead of leaving a trail of Nova 6, it leaves Agent Orange. I mean, the Novas are quite annoying, so having an actual zombie have a similar effect. Yeah, maybe it's good that in the end this wasn't used, but the concept definitely does look cool, and as to what map this would have been used in, it's kind of got like a weird jungle hat and some leaves coming off it, so perhaps Shangri-La. We do have two different elemental zombies in that map, being the Napalm and the Shrieker zombie. The next one looks to be a pretty standard zombie. It says, NVA Zombie 01 Revis. I don't know what that means. You can actually see the model. It's based on up the top left hand corner. I guess that's one of the characters in the original Black Ops. You can see the zombies wearing the same uniform. So this is that person turned into the undead. I actually like the outfit. It looks pretty cool. But this has the same gameplay effects as any other standard zombie. The same health, same movement and the same attack. But it also says in the hand that's blown off, Radius and Ulner now show his punch dagger. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that's one of the effects that this zombie has. I'm not sure, but this just looks to be one of the standard zombies. Again, we never saw one that looks exactly like this, wearing this uniform. I'm trying to think what map, if this was going to be used, it would have been in. I'm not too sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is the next one, which looks very interesting. The VCVO Thought Zombie. Okay, it says Thought, but this is the Martial Art Zombie, which actually sounds pretty cool. This would be in the Special Enemy Type category. And it says, as a former national champion, martial artist and master, this Thought Zombie has seen better days, but still has the chops to make life extremely difficult for the player. Broken beyond belief due to life and death of continual challenge in battle, are those tank treads on the back of his heel? This zombie has taken his disadvantages and turned them into his assets. Ass. Sets. <laughs> Dislocated shoulders and broken limbs, coupled with zero pain receptors, blinding speeds, a lifetime of training towards perfection of technique, an uncanny, almost precognitive ability to dodge bullets, and the use of knees and elbows as weapons make this special one 
a hard to hit zombie. Strange and unorthodox style movements and timing that creates a confusion illusion, a physical direction making it difficult for the player to read and in essence get a bead on this zombie. With a strength that belies his modestly in frame, this flexible flurry of timing, speed and agility is supremely deadly at close range and is best dealt with at distance, through strong environmental awareness, pre-planning and a little bit of luck. The player must be ready to take advantage of any explosive opportunities at hand, and if close range combat is inevitable, the best option would be to retreat into any corner or funnel, with hopes of restricting the zombie's movement and bettering the chances of a kill. So a gymnastic martial arts flexible style type zombie kind of reminds me of the jumping jacks and die rise in terms of movements but in black ops we never saw anything like this the part which really intrigues me is when it says it's unorthodox style movements and timing creates a confusing illusion which makes it difficult for the player to read that would actually be a sight to see in game thinking this zombie is in one location and then just because of how its body can turn all of a sudden it's somewhere else it'd be cool if it was in front of you at one second and then the next second it was behind. This definitely sounds like a zombie I wouldn't like to come up against. Moving on, the next one again is a standard type zombie. This is the Viet Cong zombie. It has the same health, movement and attack as any regular undead. This one looks okay. And here is another version of the Viet Cong standard zombie. I guess they would fit the theming of the original Black Ops and the time that it took place in. And then for the final two, the first one we have the Meteor Infection Mutation. It says near translucent skin with blue varicose veining and a sweaty sheen. Its general colour ranges from a deep yellow to a cool pink and a pale green blue. It has raised scab-like dark maroon blemishing. Orifices are tortured battles between function and radical accelerated cellular growth, maroon in gutters, random oversized spots of green yellow pus, raw red flesh between larger skin folds, one to three random play like sores consisting of a shiny black core along with a slightly exposed underskin with its blue black veins radiating of blood poisoning and this zombie looks absolutely gross it looks a lot bigger than the regular undead so i'm thinking would this kind of be like its own round and there would just be one of them maybe two because it looks difficult to kill also kind of gross it doesn't seem to have any special powers it just visually looks different and then the final one which he did say this was the only one that was totally scrapped but this is the zombie oxen it says the oxen is affected by an agent orange type gland mutation causing not only the zombie state but also blocking myostain the protein that normally inhabits muscle growth after a certain point of development. This naturally occurring gene trait can be found in the massive muscle growth of the Belgian blue beef cattle, as you can see in the images. So this one does look very cool. However, if this was in the game, it looks like it'd be very difficult to kill, and I'm not too sure if it would fit in with any of the Black Ops maps. It would maybe have to be a kind of like farmland map, and in Black Ops, we didn't really have anything like that. So those were some concept zombies intended for the original Black Ops. Remember that maybe these zombies were made for other maps that never made it into the game. And some people have also said that maybe these concepts could be reused in Black Ops 5, that they could be reappearing again. Personally, I'm not too sure on that. I mean, there's always the chance, but these concepts are, what, 10 years old now? I mean, there's nothing to say that the developers of these games don't go back and reuse old artwork. It would make sense, why scrap them? But then again, you ask the question, why weren't they used in the first place? And then talking about Black Ops 5, because I've done a couple of videos on it in the past. At the moment, we only know limited information, but there has been a couple of new leaks throughout the past couple of days. So just discussing the very few things we know about it. Well, we know the game is being made by Treyarch. They are the lead developers. Originally, it was created by Sledgehammer. This year, 2020, was their year to do COD. They were initially in charge. They began creating the game. However, Activision decided to remove them put Treyarch in charge and they are now being supported by both Sledgehammer and Raven Software. And that alone is going to be interesting because if the game was initially being worked on by Sledgehammer and then Treyarch came in, are we going to see some of Sledgehammer's ideas and some of Treyarch's? It's also going to be interesting to see two big developers working on it, Sledgehammer and Treyarch, even though Treyarch are in charge, of course along with Raven as well, but it's going to be interesting because Remember that Treyarch weren't supposed to be releasing their card until the next year, so really you could say they've only had two years to work on this Call of Duty instead of three, but actually they haven't because it was already being worked on by Sledgehammer 
before that. So technically it would have had a three year cycle, it's just that Sledgehammer was working on it for the first year and Treyarch for the final two. But anyway, its code name is Project Zeus. This isn't something new, every card has a code name, similar ones to this, I believe another one was Odin or something like that. But it is a reboot of the Black Ops franchise, similar to the new Modern Warfare, how that's a reboot of the Modern Warfare series. I suppose it's just going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops, maybe BO5, we don't quite know yet. But some of the characters, and by the way, of course, these are leaks, so if you don't want to know, then click off now. But two characters that we know who are going to be returning are Alex Mason and Sergeant Frank Woods. They're going to be in the campaign, however, they're going to be portrayed by new actors, and the game will tell a new storyline, but will have some similar threads to the previous Black Ops titles. Again, just like Modern Warfare, how we had new voice actors for Captain Price. We're going to have new voice actors for Woods, Mason, and I assume other characters. And the storyline's going to be new, but it is going to tie in, in some ways, to the previous games. The campaign is said to be focused on real-life events of the Cold War and the Vietnam War. It's going to explore the Vietnam War a lot more than the original Black Ops game did. It's described as highly realistic and gory than Modern Warfare, with plenty of shock factors and notable interrogation scenes. Built with the engine that Infinity Ward used for Modern Warfare, the game is said to include large multiplayer modes including 32v32 Ground War. Killstreaks will include the UAV, counter UAV, a dog based killstreak, a flamethrower, a plane bomber and many other things. Operators are said to be returning, but no specialists which for me is a good thing. It's one thing I hated about BO3 and 4. And the part that I'm interested in is one source, I don't know who that is, but they said that zombies will feature a new storyline, possibly based around Vietnam, which is more realistic and grounded than the fancy stuff we've seen in recent years. That, of course, I'm not sure on. I haven't really seen any information of that. I mean, we should be getting a trailer or some promotions teasers for the game very soon, expect maybe in a couple of weeks. We are in March right now. We have had COD trailers earlier than this before. As of late, we usually get them early April, like the first, the second, the third, so literally two weeks we should have one. I don't know if this virus is going to delay things, but we can definitely expect zombies. Whether it is going to be a new story, a continuation of Ether, or a continuation of Chaos, I can't say 100% right now, but we do know zombies is coming. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, you know what to do. Drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest zombies videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.